Robbie Lawler retired from pro MMA competition following his impressive knockout victory over Nico Price at UFC 290. Many fans and experts believe that the win was a great way for Lawler to leave the sport. Although now, Mike Perry is trying to lure Lawler back into the competitive fight game. Taken to his Twitter account, Perry had a short message for Lawler, tweeting, Come to Bare Knuckle FC and fight me, at Ruthless Robbie Lawler. What do you guys make of Mike Perry calling out Lawler to a fight in BKFC? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. The recent Anthony Joshua vs. Robert Hellenius fight featured Ebony Bridges as one of the models promoting Conor McGregor's forged Irish stout. However, the collab drew significant criticism from fans who felt that Bridges appeared too comfortable around McGregor, who is a father of three with Dee Devlin. In response to the backlash, Bridges explained the nature of her association with McGregor during an interview with Boxing King Media. She emphasized the promotional aspect of their collaboration, stating, It's all about promotion. He's a smart businessman and he always makes smart business moves. He reached out to me and said, Do you want to be a part of the team, be a part of the Forged Army, and partner up with me and help promote his stout? And what better way to promote that than to get pictures with the blonde bomber at the Anthony Joshua fight wearing your gear? And it worked, didn't it? Because we've broken the internet again and everyone's talking about it. It's just business. Speaking about Devlin's position, Bridges added, You think Conor McGregor would be with me in the public, doing everything that we're doing, like getting me to be a part of his Forged Army team, if his fiance had a problem with it? These people who sit at home know nothing about show business, know nothing about celebrity and what it's like to be famous. You have to have very, very thick skin to one, be a celebrity and be in a relationship with a celebrity. And she gets it. After his recent knockout loss to Justin Gaethje at UFC 291, Dustin Poirier hinted that he might move up to welterweight. On the latest episode of the DC and MC show, Michael Chandler shared his thoughts on this idea. Chandler cautioned Poirier against going up to 170, arguing that Poirier is not a big lightweight and would be significantly smaller than most welterweights. Um, depending on how you want to think about this, I say tap out. If I'm Dustin Poirier or Dustin Poirier's management, he's not a big 155 pounder. Some people would say he could make 145. And I say case in point, when somebody pulled out of the fight, it was it was Tony it was uh, Tony Ferguson, Nate Diaz of that whole debacle with Shemaev. He stepped on the scale, took a picture of himself. He was in the 170s. I'm about 190 right now. He's not a big he's not a big lightweight. Mike. I don't think it's smart for him to go up to 170. You get hit with a 170 pound punch, it's a lot harder than Mike, 155. Mike, you're fighting Dustin, at, one at 155. Mike, you're fighting at 170. I'm fighting a 145 <laughs> pounder at 170. Conor McGregor. This guy has right a, here is actually fighting at 170. Conor McGregor has the bone density. He has the bone density of a yellow belly sap sucker. The bone density of an albatross. Conor McGregor is a natural 145 pounder. So if I want to fight him at 170, I'm going to be bigger than Conor at 170. That's why I'm fighting him at 170. Dustin Poirier, I'm tapping out. Well, again, to you, <laughs> stay in, <laughs> stay at 155. Chris Weidman will finally make his long anticipated return to the Octagon this Saturday night at UFC 292 against Brad Tavares. In an interview with ESPN MMA, the former UFC champ shared his frustration with UFC putting his fight on prelims and said he feels disrespected by the organization. And then I went back to the bottom and now I'm here, listen, I'm the king of the prelims now. Let's go. That is weird, right? You're on the yeah, prelims. They, like, they, they, first they, time they, in like a long time. A long time. And it's kind of disrespectful, to be honest. I'm not going to pretend like it's not. Like, to be out for two years with a broken injury, I, I broke my leg on the mats of the UFC in a paper, on a pay-per-view. First card ever since COVID. First fully packed arena in Jacksonville. Put my body on the line, and then they put me on a prelim. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna. Uh, that's a bad idea. I'm, I'm. I'm. You know what? It probably works out for anybody. Everybody at the end of the day, because it's a little bit of motivation. But all right, I, mother yeah. effers, you disrespect me like that. What do you think I'm done? What do you think I'm here to just like see how I feel? And and no, I'm here to make a statement. There are more more eyes on the prelims, right? You know, that's what they say, right? I should be okay with, because there's more eyes on the prelims. So it's going. It's going worldwide. I don't know. That's I guess the the, the silver lining, but. There's, motiv there's motivation there. Fighter. Here are the top three memes we found on the internet today. Third place was found over Twitter and was posted by a user named Anurag Tiwari. Our second place meme was found over Instagram and was posted by a user named As Shopped As It Gets. 
and her top picked meme was also found over Instagram and was posted by a user named Connor Burks. Hey, be nice. You know, they were trying to fight each other. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.